nothing left to lose now. Everything to prove now. Long as I'm alive, I'ma fight back. My fire never cools down. I'm about to catch fire. Welcome to the WSL Post Show and the Ring of Fire happening right behind us as Callum Robson, one of the two Australians in the lineup for the men's final, has won the biggest event of his career here at the 10,000 point level and the opening Challenger Series event for the Boost Mobile Gold Coast Pro. It was an incredible moment to see him rise to victory in a well-fought battle against Sheldon Simkiss, fellow Australian. My name is Shannon Hughes, joining the Boost for the Post Show by two Australian legends themselves, Jess Grimwood, Stace Galbraith. Amazing week here, Jess, your thoughts? Oh, I'm just so, so overloaded with the emotion and the excitement that is finals day, Stace. I know you feel probably the same. <laughs> yeah, we were spoiled rotten, weren't we? What an amazing week. Incredible, Stace, for you to be able to see Snapper turn on at home and to be able to watch these surfers really be able to put on good performances in good ways must have been something special. Yeah, the first three and a half days was, uh, I was so stoked. You know, you, when you, people come to your hometown, you, you kind of, you want to show it off. And that was an absolute show off. Then the last couple of days, as the surfers mentioned, it was a bit more of a battle. But uh, yeah, we got it all and deserve a champions. It's absolutely incredible. Jess, to be able to witness everyone rise to the occasion too with the challenging conditions that the ocean had to offer this morning, we weren't really sure what was going to be taking place. And I think everybody rose to the occasion. Yeah, it was like that cool and got a gold feeling about the whole event coming into the last two days. And I'm just, I feel so much emotion and so much excitement, especially watching the ring of fire there for Cal and for Katie and all the work that they did pushing on through to this final. Like, they're so well-deserved. Like Stacey said, they really worked hard to take that crown. Incredible to see Katie Simmers and Callum Robson walk away with a win. We're going to take a look now at the Harvey Norman recap for the men's final. It was a well-fought battle between Callum Robson and Sheldon Simkiss. Stace, incredible to see Cal take the win. For sure. And uh, we mentioned it earlier, we'll take him as an adopted cold coaster, obviously from Evans Head, just moments down the road and uh, riding uh, Adam Sparrow Fletcher's surfboards. I think, uh, look, the VIP section definitely was probably 80-20 Sheldon, but, <laughs> but deep down we were, we were stoked to have them both uh, put on a great performance. Jess, your thoughts just on the fact that it really came down to that last exchange with Callum getting the score. Oh, it was huge. The, these two just so well matched with their style of surfing. And I loved how they just kind of fed off each other's energy. They're just huge, big, exciting, powerful surfers. And it was just nail biting. I literally was pulling out what's left of my hair. Those space buns are lucky to be alive up there. <laughs> Insane to know also for Callum coming off of a great rookie season on the men's championship tour, making it well past that mid-season cut after Murder River stays. He's now victorious at a really high level. 100%, Bugs alluded to it earlier. Evans Head and the Woodburn and the, the greater northern New South Wales region, they deserve this. Uh, it's, uh, this is massive for uh, Callum and, and his hometown. They would be so proud. And Jess, that ring of fire, that's unique to Australians. Oh, that's super unique. I'm very lucky to have experienced it too. And I almost feel like I want to cry just watching Cal soak that moment up. It's going to be one of the best moments of his life, regardless of his, the rest of his career results. We'll take a look at that final bracket to see how Callum walked away with that win. He took out Ramsey Bokheim, the Moroccan, in quarterfinal number three. Then took out an on-fire Nolan Raposa in that semi-final stace, then to match up with the local in Sheldon Simkiss. I joked with uh, Sparrow, his shaper in the uh, in the VIP area just before. Callum led that final basically from start to finish, and I said, you must be nervous because every other heat he won from coming from right behind at the last second. Oh, amazing to see that. Sheldon had an incredible performance here as well, taking out Connor Coffin, Maxime Houchenot, both surfers with great experience within their repertoires. It was just really cool to see both of these two Australians find that energy, especially tapping into all of the crazy conditions that we had today to have to match up with. We're going to get back to so much more here on the WSL Post Show, but we do have Ronnie Blakey ready for the presentation to crown those champions in Katie and Callum. Ronnie, take it away. Thank you, Shannon. Welcome.
to the presentation for the Boost Mobile Gold Coast Pro presented by Rip Curl. Can we get a round of applause for our finalists quickly? This is the first stop on the all new 2022 Challenger Series. And uh, I think our competitors will agree. It is so good to be back here at Snapper Rocks. Thanks for having us. All right, what an event. Uh, I mean, we came here, 96 men in the draw, 64 women in the draw. The performances were red hot from the opening round and no one backed down. Everyone gave us great performances. So again, can we hear it for our competitors? The WSL and all invo involved with the Boost Mobile Gold Coast Pro want to acknowledge all the tribes of the Bunjalung and Yagumba regions and their continued custodianship of this country. I think that deserves a big round of applause too. We also want to extend this acknowledgement and respect to First Nations people joining us in person today and uh, of course joining us online on the broadcast. We have some uh, very special partners that we need to thank. Uh, firstly, we'd like to thank the City of Gold Coast and Major Events Gold Coast for their support of this contest. Our title partner, Boost Mobile. Our presenting partner, Rip Curl, Oakley, Harvey Norman and Bonsoy. We'd also like to uh, extend our thanks to s, s Group, Oakberry, Dometic Outdoor, Coopers, they've been important today, GWM, Bond University, Bailey Ladders and Our Beaches. We also want to say an unbelievably massive thank you to all the locals here at Snapper Rocks and to the Rainbow, Rainbow Bay Surf Club for getting behind this event and giving us the ultimate stage to watch all the uh, amazing performances we've watched unfold today. Put your hands together for them. Now, I think you'll agree the, uh, the trophies that have been prepared for our winners today are, are very special. They've been made to represent the coastline and the waves here in Coolangatta and Snapper Rocks in particular. Now, to help me hand out the uh, amazing trophies, we've got an incredible lineup of fantastic people. First up, we've got Gail O'Neill, representative for the Gold Coast City Council. Thank you, Councillor. Round of applause, please. We've got Bob Kane with us, the WSL Global COO. Great to see you, Bob. Will Hayden-Smith, easiest job in the world from the Tours and Competition Department at WSL. What a joke. Got to wake up every day this week and go, yep, start it, the waves are firing. Good on you, Will. And uh, from Boost Mobile, we've got Jason Haynes. Jase, happy birthday for last week, mate. Definitely appreciate your continued support of professional surfing. OK, time to hand out some trophies. Now, this guy's had an amazing run through the contest. He put together great performances. He was inspired to do it for his family, for his friends, but in particular, the Snapper Rocks Board Riders Club. You guys cheered him on all the way. Put your hands together for the 2022 Boost Mobile Gold Coast Pro runner-up, Sheldon Simkus. Congratulations, babe. What a final performance. Just quickly, uh, Sheldon. An amazing run through the event, big numbers dropped, but uh, I think he did save his best to last. He gave us an unbelievable showdown with Callum. Mate, uh, let's be honest, you, you scraped into the uh, Challenger Series events last year. By your standards, you had a shocker, but you've turned it all around here. That must be feeling incredible, sitting at number two on the ratings. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been a big couple of days for me. It's, um, I mean, before this event, going from the regionals, I uh, yeah, just scraped in and... Um, this was the big goal for me, was to surf out here. I felt like if I missed this event, I basically missed the whole Challenger Series. So um, to surf out here in Arashi was a bonus. And then to make it all the way to the final and you know, have such good heat with Cal, um, yeah, it was a great day. Put your hands together for him. What an amazing performance. Much like the men's final, the women's final went off. Uh, unbelievable performances from these two competitors. And uh, they overcame CT caliber surfers on their road to, uh, to the trophies. So put your hands together for your 2022 Boost Mobile runner-up in the women's division. It's Molly Picklam. <laughs> An amazing road. Uh, interesting to note, Katie Simmons last year 
opted not to uh, take up her spot on the CT. Molly took it. She put in some great showings on the CT. Dropped a big nine-point ride to overcome Tyler Wright over there. Come on over for a sec, Mol. Dropped the big score over there in WA, and that just sort of seemed to change things for you. And, and it looks like you've found your, your best form with the jersey on now. Is it feeling that way for you? Yeah, I definitely think the start of this year and Katie giving me the spot on tour was... Um, honestly, I was so honoured and I gave it my all. And, yeah, I definitely did gain momentum and the nine-point ride was a part of that. And, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm just getting going and just finding my feet. And, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, it's all a part of the journey, but it feels like it's just getting started. The first step on the pathway to qualification is underway for Molly Picklam, sitting in number two on the Challenger Series rankings. Well done. All right. This guy is on a special run at the moment. He finaled down there at Bells Beach. He's been dropping big numbers all year, but he'd yet to have that big breakthrough victory in a major contest. Well, that's over now. Your champion for the 2022 Boost Mobile Pro, presented by Rip Curl, is Callum Robson. Well done, mate. Unbelievable. He's so solid through the contest. Excellent scores all the way when he got He's back against the wall. He just fought his way out. Clutch performances right through to the final. And uh, what a final it was. Come on over, Callum. Mate, first of all, how are you feeling? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how to feel. I feel like it's just such a big day competing. And like you're in your, your own headspace the whole day. And when you finally do what you set out to do, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like much at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you're exhausted. Four heats today, mate, and um, man, uh, could tell at the end of some of those rides, the, the legs were feeling it. Oh, yeah, my legs were, were cooked by the end of a few of those rides at the end, like my, one of the waves that counted, I fell at the end. Um, but yeah, it was such a big day and surfing snapper and it was just an epic comp. So yeah, thanks to everyone that put on the comp, WSL. Um, yeah, what an amazing event. Mate, just quickly, uh, your hometown last year before you set off on the Challenger Series got right behind you, raising funds, raising funds to uh, help fund your uh, campaign. You didn't let them down. You didn't let them down at Bells Beach. How good does it feel to keep returning the love that they've given you with these big results? Yeah, the, um, the community support that I've had is a massive part of, of um, who I am and my story. Um, I'm very proud to be from where I am in Evans Head, and they continue to support me, and um, yeah, I'm stoked that I can keep doing well and putting them on the map, and um, yeah, I'm stoked. All right, congratulations. A well-earned victory, and an unbelievable final. The Challenger Series has kicked off with a bang. Speaking of kicking off with a bang, our next surfer has been kicking off her Challenger Series campaigns with a big bang since she won last year at the US Open. Your winner of the 2022 Boost Mobile Pro, presented by Rip Curl, is none other than Katie Simmers. What a performance. Congratulations, Katie. Unbelievable stuff, 16 years of age, and her second Challenger Series win, sitting number one on the rankings again after the first stop. And she did make that decision to turn down the uh, CT position last year and work on her surfing, work on some special projects. And I think we can all agree it was a smart decision and a scary decision for all her rivals. Congratulations, Katie. Let's have a quick word. I just mentioned it, the decision not to take up that CT spot last year and work on your surfing some more. Uh, obviously, it felt fantastic to be near home at, when you were in the States and get chaired up the beach. What did it feel like today to have your friends and family here cheering you up to the podium? Um, I don't know, it's just been, I've just been enjoying being in Australia and it's cool to have my family here and shout out to my brother, T-Money, um, he just keeps it, keeps things less serious and not like, I don't know, just keeps it fun and it's been a really fun time in Australia. It absolutely has. Let me ask you this, seeing as you're sitting at number one, if you do uh, make the CT at the end of this year. I know we've got a long way to go, but a victory is, is huge. Uh, will you be taking up the position on the CT in 2023 if you do get there? Um, I don't know, potentially. I guess we'll just see what happens. Oh, you've got to love it. A cool head and a cool customer. Congratulations on an amazing victory. Let's get our champions together.
and thank them again for an unbelievable performance. Get those trophies up in the sky, guys. Thank you so much for entertaining us this week. Well done. And you are the front runners on the Challenger Series rankings. And uh, again, a big thank you to all of you. Thanks for having us. And we'll see you again next year. Back to you guys, Shannon, on the post show. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Ronnie. Great to hear from four outstanding competitors this week at the Boost Mobile Gold Coast Pro presented by Rip Curl. It's been an unbelievable journey to see Katie Simmers win again. Started out with that victory at the U.S. Open, backed it up with another one here against those that competed in that rookie class. It was Gabriella Bryan at the U.S. Open. It's now Molly Picklum. It's really exciting just to see those young names driving the forefront of surfing at the moment. Yeah, and she's such a character in her own right, you know, <laughs> such an individual. And I love that approach to it, the acceptance speech and just playing it really cool and staying in what she knows. Stays taking a look at that bracket to see Katie's run to the finals, taking down Nikki Van Dyke and Sally Fitzgibbons. It was so similar back in Huntington Beach. Look, she is still such a grom, and I, I really, truly love it. In a, in a heat prior to the quarterfinals, she didn't ride the jet ski once uh, out of almost a mistake, you know, but it was just a, it was an honest mistake. Then she came into the heat against Nikki and rode the jet ski six or seven times, you know, just to kind of make up for it. And then uh, against Sally, she really didn't want to get in Sally's way on that last wave, but she knew she had to, and, and all the greats have done that, and that's how you have to compete. So as cool of a customer as she is, uh, deep down, I believe... Uh, uh, she's going to be a very, very fierce competitor to uh, deal with in the future whenever she chooses to come onto the World Tour. It just an amazing road to the finals for this young woman, taking it out against Molly Picklum as we take a look at the highlights from an epic final, Jess. Yeah, the standout style for me for the event across the women. She just threw so much variety and, and she brought so much so much calmness about her performance, Shannon. Yeah, it was really insane. Molly Picklum did well. I mean, she dropped one of the biggest scores of the heat stays on those sort of maneuvers, those big one turns. For sure. And look, the judges took their time on that last score of Katie. And if I'm honest, I think a lot of people on the beach didn't see her turning the result. However, what the judges will do is they'll watch all four waves. That was an exceptional first turn. Cut back out here is very hard to do. Straight up into the lip, no downtime. He gets it up for the finish. She didn't need an eight. She only needed a five and a half. And she got the job done. And as far as I'm concerned, I can be a very biased Australian from time to time. But I knew that was going to be close. And I'm, I'm stoked to see her get the win. It was a tight heat. And, and we have those in surfing. And we had to see Molly help Katie get the trophy above. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. It's just such a story unfolding with these two. And, and yeah, like you said, Stace, it's what I love about surfing as well. Sometimes it's right on that bubble. And she did get the job done, and she's deservedly so. She needed a little bit of help up with that trophy. But my, Molly took that spot on the CT. I just, Katie Simmons's future, incredible. Anything she wants it to be. Imagine just making the, the decision upon your own rights if you want to compete or not. It's absolutely insane to think of them pushing the level of women's performances here in Australia, but just across the world. They're already two of the best in the barrel, two of the best on the rail, and two of the best in the air. It's going to be insane to see what else comes of them. But in that journey, we've also seen some really impressive surfing on the way here. So impressive, in fact, that we've had a tie for the Boost Mobile wave of the day between two 8.33 rides of Sheldon Simkiss and Betty Lou Sakura Johnson on those ways to the finals. And really incredible, Jess, to see that coming through as the Boost Mobile wave of the day from Betty Lou Sakura Johnson at 8.33 in the semifinal. Oh, just lit this one up, beautiful combination. I'm surprised she only has one Boost Mobile wave of the day. She was a really standout, clutch competitor. She just was aggressive, composed and sharp. That's all I have to say about that last turn, it's just sharp just right there on rail and then Sheldon Simkiss answered back, tied her up, Stace through in the semifinals with a 8-3-3. It's very, very uh, funny. They're very similar surfers, both very powerful, but I would say they're, they're, they're very dynamic as well and that the curve and the shape of the wave suits them absolutely beautifully and, uh, you know, no real surprise there to see them take that out. That was a pretty cool highlight reel. Incredible. Sad to see neither of them walk away with victory today, but they're going to be in that top rankings conversation for the rest of the Challenger Series. Really exciting, Jess. Yeah, what a launch pad for the rest of the season. I mean, to go into the next event with a bit of pressure off your shoulders, you've already got that keeper result. I mean, there's eight events, you get to keep five. 
Like, it's a whole different um, playing field for those guys and girls going into the next event now. Insane. Well, stay tuned for more from the WSL Post Show. We'll be here to bring through the top five and all those great highlights from competition this week. Welcome back to the WSL Post Show. Shannon Hughes in the booth alongside of Jess Grimwood and Stace Galbraith. We've just seen the teamwork of those two fought out in the final. Molly Picklem using the muscles to help Katie Simmers, the Grom, 16 years old, taking out the second trophy for her Challenger Series campaign within her career. So exciting. And now we're going to see the whole Rat Pack, the whole surf gang, head down the coast to your neck of the woods near Sydney. Jess for the GMW Sydney Surf Pro. Yeah, that's going to be up next. That's going to be a really interesting one to split the pack, I think, because the conditions are so different. It's a beachy. Um, they, it could be pumping perfect. It could be four to six foot perfect, you know, North Stain or Manly, or it could be onshore 10 foot or one foot, anything. So exciting. There's going to be a lot on offer. Great to know that we're just traveling down the coast here. It's going to be a quick jump for everyone from the Gold Coast. Let's take a look back to the highlights of the Sydney Surf Pro. Back in 2020, it was actually the first Challenger Series campaign event to ever get underway, Stace, and we watched Carissa Moore and Leonardo Fioravanti take out the wind. Absolutely, and obviously this event counted for the qualifiers that we saw recently make the World Tour, which was uh, a pretty long break, but it made sense. So they, they let the surface keep this result, and most certainly this year Manly will play a massive part uh, in, in who's going to qualify this season. Yeah, it was a really huge uh, part of the conversation and a great shift in that schedule, going back to that three-tier system or, or introducing a three-tier system from the challenge 
qualifying series to the Challenger Series, then to the Championship Tour. And we saw some incredible performances there on final day, Jess. Yeah, and this is pretty much like ideal Manly. This is what they're going to be looking to pack their board bags for. Uh, there's lots of little corners and lumps and bumps to find up and down peaks there for the Sydney Surf Pro. Taking a look at the Challenger Series schedule for this year, eight events on tour. So this event that we just had here is a very interesting one. A lot of CT surfers joining it. Uh, you know, through the, out the year, we, we most likely won't see as many. And that's where Sheldon's result today, along with Katie and Molly, is massive and that you'll see that come Halle Eva wherever you can get those big results when the fields are stacked with those CT surfers. Yeah, it's going to be pretty wild. Some great venues in there. Australia, South Africa, California, Europe between Portugal and France, Rio, and then to Halle Eva. Some really great venues on offer, Jess. Yeah, it's a really big launching pad now, isn't it? It's just really kind of bridged that gap that we used to see for that QS regional kind of format. And it's just going to help all these surfers, like we've seen Katie Simmers and Cal, just kind of own or hone that CT performance. Well, talking about the CT, let's take a look at their schedule for the rest of the year. We're going to the Quicksilver and Roxy Pro G-Land. So excited to see G-Land back on the mix for the men's tour, but also for the women now, Stace. It is going to be phenomenal. Uh, and I know a lot of the men are pretty keen to get on a left-hander, but the women, they have a lot of talent there. You know, I'm thinking Joanne DeFay, Tatiana Weston Webb, they would be just, you know, salivating at the chance to get out there with only one other surfer. So exciting to see great waves like El Salvador, Rio, J Bay, and Chopu before the Rip Curl WSL finals, Jess. Yeah, important place to return as well for both um, the women and the men, it's going to be a huge, challenging, whole different kind of field set up and um, it's going to be great to watch. So excited for all of that to unfold. There's going to be so many events for our viewers to be able to tune into to see a great level of performance put down by championship tour surfers as well as that new pack that want to qualify or those that are looking for requalification to the 2023 schedule and with all that said let's now dive into the top five moments it's been an incredible week and there are so many that we could have picked from but for the boost mobile gold coast pro the top five number five coming through it's the dream run of nolan raposa jess oh uh, this guy i'm gonna go google search the absolute everything out of him. His surfing was standout. His style was so, so rad. And he just had this next level, I think, he found for himself that he hadn't found before. And I think there's a lot to come from him. I think he's not middle class surfing. He's that top echelon of performance. He put down that 8.17 in the semifinals, and it was just insane to see him put together a finish with a section like that on offer and land through nearly covered up. Feeling so stoked as he prepared for the next match. Taking a look at number four. It was Molly Picklum lighting it up in the semifinals for a heat total stace of a 16.23. You know what? I, I don't want to say this uh, you know, unkindly, but Molly just seemed to get to 16 points so easily out here. She was just making light work of such tricky conditions. And, uh, you know, Molly has confidence like I've never seen before. And in conditions like this, this is what you need. And, and we saw it here. Uh, th this wave uh, was incredible, and, and particularly this finishing manoeuvre. Uh, that, uh, that had the spectators on the beach light right up. So exciting to see her find two scores like that up against her good friend and fellow rookie to the CT this year and Betty Lou Sakura Johnson. Incredible performances. And then we saw the best of our men's runner-up in Sheldon Simkiss, the local knowledge stays taking him through with some great performances. Absolutely, he really hit his stride. He had to surf the first heat of the day, which I think is uh, can be very difficult if you're not from here. And uh, look, I think he threw us all a dummy in that first heat. He was just feeling it out. And then from that uh, round of 16 heat onwards, he just was so on point. Unbelievable to just see that local knowledge play through to take him all the way to some insane maneuvers. Really throwing all that flair and that variety into the conversation was just exceptional. Taking a look at our number two moment, it was Caitlin Simmers winning the Gold Coast. Yeah, here she is, a brand new champ for the Goldie, Mrs. Casual, a super grom from California. She's just been the standout. She has style to burn. There were so many times during 
her performances. You could just mind surf. You could feel the flow she was feeling out there. She's an incredible champion for this event. We're going to have to see Katie put an edit together after a performance like this. Just some of those great waves running down here at Snapper. Finding a couple of those barrels on offer this, this week as well. And our number one moment, Callum Robson walking away victorious, Stace. So cool to see, I mentioned it earlier, uh, and, and Ronnie did as well. Callum gets a lot of support from his hometown and he is just paying them back in spades. It's so cool to see, he's such a humble young man, really hard worker, and uh, you know what, he deserves all the accolades he can get. And uh, you know what, we were just, like I said earlier, spoiled rotten, what a couple of finals we got here. Uh, Callum Robson and Katie Simmons, just well deserved champions. And we see the support there on the beach for Callum. It's just incredible. Well done, Callum. The Ring of Fire bringing it home for Callum Robson with a massive victory, the biggest of his career. We're going to see so many more moments like that from him, I'm sure. We've already seen Katie Simmers back up a moment like this herself. It was an exciting week here. I feel like we have a lot to digest and a lot to look forward to heading into the GMW Sydney Surf Pro. Jess, well done in the booth. It's been a pleasure to call so many heats with you. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. It's just been jam-packed. I'm just going to go back and probably rewatch every single wave from day one down to here. Stace, you did the best job reporting from the sand, giving us all the insights. Thanks so much for joining the action. It's my absolute pleasure. Super grateful to work at home and uh, can't believe we've got to wait 12 months to do it all again. <laughs> We'll have so many more contests, so many more waves on offer to break down the action with. It's going to be so exciting. Be sure to stay tuned now for the highlights. It's been an amazing week. There's so many to tap into. And tune in next week for the GMW Sydney Surf Pro. It is finals day here. Got tricky conditions, but it's all going down. Seeing a lot of movement in the ocean. We started out with 96 men in the draw. We're down to the top 16. He parks it in the barrel, comes out through the double door. That is like the gnarliest workout you can ever do. Looking back. Super critical from Callum. Looking back on yesterday. The right track. And Moffat off the top, massive oh, turn. Oh, wow. We dream away as the world spins round. We elevate. We're sparking it in the tube. Ooh. Sneaking out of that one, Molly Picklin. <laughs> This copyrighted event broadcast is produced by the World Surf League for broadcast around the world and may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the written consent of the World Surf League.